What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your Major League Baseball Home Run Prop Show for Saturday, April 27th, 2024. If you like this content, make sure you smash that thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. You know, we appreciate all the love and support we've gotten here at Pick Dogs over the years. I appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to tune into the Home Run Prop Show so I can put you guys on some Home Run Prop winners. If you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, head to PickDogs.com. Click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. Got some for everybody today. Got my MLB pickoff play. Didn't cash it yesterday, but still on a 10-3 and run with that. 23-6 and run in the last 29 in the MLB. I also got my uh, MLB triple play that includes that pickoff play. And I also got uh, an NBA three-point play as well today. I also got a couple of hockey plays as well in there for long-term subscribers. So definitely long-term the way to go. Um, you can hop on a daily pass. So probably can make you some money on this money-making Saturday and, uh, and roll that forward. But like I said, the best value is going long term. The daily passes, when you buy them day after day, they can get to be a little expensive after a while. But these long term passes cover you with every single play that I make. You know, and the other thing is you get every play that I make, not not restricting you to a single sport. Sometimes, like today, you know, you're you're kind of uh, you know handcuffed to to one sport with it with a daily pass. But these long term passes com- cover you across the board. Like I said, regardless of sport, you can also pair me up with any of your other favorite handicappers as part of our multi capper promotion. Um, but whatever you choose to do, use that promo code pick at checkout for 15% off your purchase. Also, if you're a big better and you're betting, you know, a thousand dollars or more per game on major league baseball this season, check out my 2024 major league baseball grand slam season pass. What it's going to get you is the weighting and rating of my plays for the first time. You're going to know where my biggest bets on the board are. It's also going to get you access to my nerfies and yurfies and my first five plays as well as plays I make throughout the day based on things like money moves, line moves, pitching changes, lineup changes. You know, right now, $1,000 unit betters are up big over the last uh, last 12 days. You know, they're up uh, over 40, uh, 47 units in the uh, in the last 12 days. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, that's the kind of bankroll that you're working with, text 775-636-7674. We'll get you some more information. Uh, but let's get into the home run prop action for, uh, for, uh, for Saturday's card. And, you know... We had a great deal with the home run props yesterday. Cashed Juan Soto, cashed Evan Carter. A couple of nice plus money payers there. Today, we're going to go with the biggest home run card we've had of the season so far. Seven home run props from me today. Um, and it's pro- this is probably the biggest it's going to get, to be honest with you. I- I've really you know, enjoyed sort of harnessing it in and, and kind of reining it in and going with those smaller cards. I know everybody liked it when we just sprayed on 20, 25 home run props last year and just saw if anything came in. But again, sometimes... If we didn't hit anything, that was that was a big hit to the bankroll, even though I tell everybody not to go crazy on these. Um, so going going a little bit smaller, it just maximizes the ROI when when, when these home run props hit and it allows us to, to really key in and focus in on, on a couple of guys that we really like. So hopefully we can do that today. You know, like I said, we, we had some green yesterday, had a great day with it. And uh, now it's just all about trying to, to build it up and, and sort of get it all, you know, get it all going again. And, um, you know, like I said, I stressed everybody. These be- these uh, home run props are very high risk high reward. They're only there for some fun, nothing to go too crazy over. You know, just to have some some you know pizza money or some coffee money on. Again, don't go don't go too hefty on them. Um, but I do know that some people like to play these you know home run props as a parlay. I recommend always playing them straight. But if you're going to parlay them up, I recommend doing a round robin. Now, yes, a round robin is going to drive up the cost of your bet. You know, especially if you play three, four, five home run props. But it's going to give you a safety net in case that something, you know, in case something goes wrong. We've all had that three, four leg parlay that we were so sure of, and you know, one leg was off and it didn't give us anything. But if we have a round robin, if you hit two out of four, three out of four, depending on on, on what kind of combinations you run, you know, you'll still win something. And and a lot of times, you know, you'll you'll at least you'll get your money back, if not get some profit out of it. But the also the other nice thing is if you hit those uh, hit you know the big parlay, you also hit all those smaller parlays as well. So a round robin definitely the way I would go for a home, parlaying home run props. But let's uh, let's get into the home run props for uh, for uh, for Saturday's action. You're gonna see some familiar faces here. I'm, I'm gonna preface it that right now. But 
I like the matchup. I'll give you my reasoning for a lot of these guys as well. We're going to go back to the well with Dalton Varsho here at plus 510. I like the value on Varsho. He's hitting 313 against righties in the last week, and all five of his hits have gone for extra bases, including a pair of home runs and three doubles. Now, Tyler Glass now getting the start for the Dodgers here. He's been solid this season. His lone road start was a 14 strikeout performance against the Twins. The problem is the Twins strike out against everybody. I could probably stri strike out the Twins for you know five or six strikeouts in a, in a start against them. But in his career, Glass now, a 6.86 regular season ERA against Toronto. And I think if there's a spot where Glass now could have some issues, I think it could be here. I also lean towards Vladimir Guerrero Jr. for a bounce back spot. Um, I might sprinkle on him here, but I think the better, the one that I like more for the value is Dalton Varsho at plus 510. I'm also going to go with a uh, same game parlay here, or at least uh, you can take one of these props from this game or roll a couple of these together, or all three is the same game parlay. I'm going to go with a trio of Orioles here against J.P. Sears, uh, the lefty for Oakland here. First, I'm going to go with Gunnar Henderson at plus 575. He's hitting 450 against lefties in the last two weeks with two home runs, four extra base hits. Now, normally, J.P. Sears is one of Oakland's best shot at getting a win from starting pitching. I've said that with him. I've said that with Paul Blackburn. But the thing is that Sears can be had, and he's allowed four home runs and two starts against Baltimore last season. Henderson last year went three for five with two doubles and a triple last season against Sears. So I think this could finally be the time that Gunner, Gunner Henderson goes yard. Give me Gunner Henderson at plus 575. I'm also going to take Ryan Mountcastle at plus 540. He's the Orioles lefty whisperer. You know, he's hitting five for ten with two home runs in his career against J.P. Sears. Normally my go-to guy when the, when the Orioles face a left-handed pitcher. So I'm going to go with Ryan Mountcastle at plus 540. And I'm also going to go with Adley Rutschman at plus 600. Rutschman's hitting a ridiculous 611 against left-handed pitching over the last two weeks with two home runs and a double. Rutschman also had a home run in his two outings against Sears last year, hitting three for seven. I think he could tag one to, I think he could tag Sears as well if, uh, if someone's going to get to J.P. Sears here. So give me Adley Rutschman at plus 600. Also going to roll with uh, going to this match between the Rangers and the Reds. I'm going to go with Evan Carter at uh, plus 600. Going back to Evan Carter after home ring for us yesterday. I like the matchup for him here against Hunter Green. A pitcher that has all the potential in the world, but just cannot seem to put it together over the course of his career. You know, whether it's pitching at Great American or looking like he has a decent start on the road and not being able to put it together, put, put, put it together there either. Carter, in the last week against righty, he's hitting 333 with three home runs and a triple. I like the way he's swinging the bat right now. Give me Evan Carter at plus 600. Now, before we get to our last couple of home run props, I just want to point out, um, obviously the purpose of this home run prop show is to put you guys in some home run prop winners, um, but it's also to show you the benefits of using the betting tools at Pick Dogs and Sports Chat Plays. What these betting tools will do is you can see the graphics that you see here on this home run prop show are taken directly from our betting tools. What you see is what I see. So, you know, you can see here it's a player prop. It shows you the player, it shows you the prop, it shows you how often it hits, but it's also showing you which sports book is giving you the best price. Now, why is that important? Well, like like all sports betting, it's about finding value. And the sports, uh, excuse me, the betting tools show you the sports book is giving you the best price, so you can do line shopping. And the other nice thing is if you don't have an account with the book that's giving you the best price, you click on that price, you sign up, you get as a new customer, you'll get a sports book bonus offer on us. You'll also get the advantage of you know playing that best possible price with that book and using that bonus. But also another advantage that the books can't take away from you, which is your ability to shop lines and find the best possible number. You can also see on the right hand side here, like I said, the cover percentage. So it's it shows you you know. Um, the cover percentage of how often the player props are hitting. The nice thing is if you don't like just a recent sample size of, say, five games, you can go to this orange drop-down menu at the top right-hand corner of the screen, change that five-game sample size to ten games, or even all games this season if you want to be able to see just a season-long progression of how these players have hit uh, have hit these props. So definitely something there for everybody based on how you do your, your analysis, based on how you do your, you know, your, your, your capping of, of player props. Something there for everybody. I just implore everyone go over there and uh, and check them out at Pick Dogs and Sports Chat Place. But let's get to our last two home run props. You know these ones are very chalky. The chalkiest of the bunch, I will say. You know the first one here is going to be Eloy Jimenez at plus four eighty. Now this is purely a fade of Aaron Savale in the home run market. Now he didn't give up a home run last time out, did Savale? But he was prone to giving up the long ball left and right. He only allowed one home run or more in each of his first uh, four starts of the year. Now Jimenez. Has been the only real source of power for the White Sox, hitting 286 with three home runs against right-handed pitching in the last week against righties. The White Sox offense has been dreadful, 
but I think if anybody's going to get one here, Eloy Jimenez has proven that he can at least be a consistent source of power for the White Sox uh, against righties in the last two weeks. So give me Eloy Jimenez at plus 480. And my final home run prop of the day, like I said, we're going to see some familiar faces. I'm going back to the well with Juan Soto at plus 335. Just going back to him, you know, after catch force on Friday, Joe Ross was one of my guys early on in the year, but he gave up his first home run of the year in his last start. Soto has a 286 average against righties with a pair of home runs in the last week. And it just feels like Joe Ross is going to start to pitch like the Joe Ross that we saw really struggle his way through the through his time with the Washington Nationals. I just, I don't like him in this spot. The, the Yankees lineup is very patient. The plate against right-handed pitching. And uh, I think Juan Soto can definitely tee off on, on Joe Ross here. So give me Juan Soto for a home run at plus 335 to round things out. But we'll do a quick recap. We're going to go with Dalton Barsho at plus 510. Gunnar Henderson at plus 575. Ryan Mountcastle at plus 540. Adley Rutschman at plus 600. Evan Carter at plus 600. Eloy Jimenez at plus 480, and Juan Soto at plus 335. But I appreciate each and every one of you for uh, for tuning into the Home Run Prop Show. Hopefully we can make you some money today. If you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. If you're betting $1,000 or more per game on Major League Baseball and you're looking for access, uh, excuse me, information on my Grand Slam season pass, text 775-636-7674. And if you like this content, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell in the description of this video below to get notified when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. And also make sure you let me know your uh, home run prop picks in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.